Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sandra and I'm exploring here the latest and greatest trends in the AI space. Speaking of which, oh my god, so much is happening in the space right now. It's really hard to keep track of the new research that is being published on a weekly basis. Text to image, text to video, text to voice, text to everything. We are in some sort of explosion in terms of AI research and I'm really excited to look into these trends but I'm also finding it hard to focus on one particular thing. I don't know if you feel this way. If yes, let me know and know that you're not alone. But having said that, I think there is a very strong contender in the space that I would like to talk to you about today, namely Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion was released in August 2022 by a company called Stability AI. Stable Diffusion is state-of-the-art model that generates images from text. Stable quickly attracted curious community on their Discord, composed of avid experimenters that day-to-day -day try the model and output the craziest, prettiest, scariest, etc. types of images from text. Stable Diffusion is available via Dream Studio API, which has a very easy to play with UI and I recommend you to check it out. And as we speak, Dream Studio has over one and a half million users that created over 200 million images. Stability says that across different channels, Stable Diffusion has 10 million users daily. The company has recently raised over $100 million round and is the brainchild of the CEO Emad Mostak. He believes that this is going to be one of the biggest changes in human communication ever. And he also says that the world is creatively constipated and he wants to help it poop rainbows. Particularly love that phrase. His enthusiasm is being supported by some of the mightiest figures in the AI space, such as Andrei Karpate, former director of AI at Tesla, who said, in my opinion, Stable Diffusion release today is a day of historic proportion for human creativity, with so much human visual creativity bottled up in one accessible artifact. Big part of a phase shift into an era of human plus AI art collab that we've barely scratched the surface of. Woof! It's hot in here! Stable Diffusion is open sourced and released publicly so anyone can play with it and the community is crazily creative and is innovating with it so fast that it's almost hard to keep track of it. However, I took a stab at curating a list of the most inspiring uses of Stable Diffusion that I have seen so far. I hope you enjoy it. Remember that it's a very subjective list. I am sharing the links to all of these projects in the description of this video. Remember, if there is anything missing that you find pretty awesome, let me know in the comments. And if you find this type of content interesting, please remember to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get going. Number 13, architectural sketches. Michael Rostenbach published architectural renderings with the use of stable diffusion. Something that I find particularly mind-blowing is that we are able to use stable diffusion model in order to inspire us to create new type of architectures. I'm really looking forward to the first house or first construction ever built with the use of stable diffusion architecture sketches. Number 12, stable diffusion plus search engine. Maker Sharif Shamim, whom you might actually remember from my GPT-3 and Codex video experiments, has created a project called Lexica that scraped a massive collection of over 5 million images generated with the help of stable diffusion from their Discord, including the text prompts that were used to create these images. I find it really smart and helpful for the community and I hope that Lexica will rock and grow. Number 11, using Stable Diffusion to create merch, fan art, sci-fi fiction, and many other ways to elaborate on the existing world's 
of media that we love and cherish and want to surround ourselves with. Whether it's games, whether it's movies, you name it. You can definitely take your favorite character and elaborate on its story, on its life, on its visual appearance, etc. using Stable Diffusion. One such example is Those Six Faces, who is a technical artist that experiments with Stable Diffusion running live with Minecraft. So cute! Number 10. Using Stable Diffusion to turn people's faces into Pixar characters. <laughs> okay, this one is like super subjective because I'm obsessed with Pixar and Disney and the world of creative animation. I took a stop at Olivia Sadika's tutorial on YouTube on how to turn yourself into a Pixar character and I loved it and I find it really inspiring of how you can actually transition between these two worlds and it makes me think of tons of ideas of how to use that in the future for creating visual narratives. Number nine, Stable Diffusion plus Designer plugins. So we all knew this is going to happen and it was just a matter of time and I'm so excited that it's already here. It's crazy that it's already here, but believe it or not, Stable Diffusion has plugins for Photoshop, for Figma, and even for Canva, which I'm using super much for my YouTube. And I cannot believe it's already there. I'm so hyped up about this. The design experience is going to become an upgraded one very fast from now, I think. Number eight, stable diffusion and dynamic virtual fashion. Okay, so this one is pretty quirky and works only if you're in love with avatars, which I am. And so I couldn't help but get excited when Stageverse released its Avatar Fashion Studio with Stable Diffusion, where you can create countless of unique AI-generated styles using their integration. Pretty, pretty dope. I am so up for checking it out and creating my own fashion lines. Why not? And while we're at it, we can actually turn them into physical clothes if we wish, right? Number seven, Stable Diffusion plus game creation slash game artifact creation slash 3D experiments. Okay, so there are these crazy experiments using Stable Diffusion and Blender. And one of them is Albert Bozasan's experiment of turning a generated image into this 3D game asset. He has posted a tutorial on it. I think it looks so dope. Oh my God, look at this knife. It looks really, really pretty. I love it. And I think it's just the beginning of how we are going to be able to update our worlds of games and like design them better to suit our needs, be very particular about how they look, what kind of symbolism they entail, etc. Another really cool experiment I found was K-Dog that tested Stable Diffusion added for Blender. Here you can see the 3D oranges turned into Stable Diffusion. He did the animation using Blender, then used Stable Diffusion to convert to the painted versions and then recombine them into animation again. Pretty dope. I cannot wait for these 3D animated worlds to start to appear in front of our eyes very fast and quite inexpensively thanks to Stable and thanks to access to it worldwide. Thank you, Stability. Number six, stable diffusion and animation. Okay, so animation was recently possible using a stable and now there's this cool the forum notebook. I'm sure there are other resources, but I particularly found interesting the experiments using that one. And just look at the outcomes, just look at that. Whoa, makes me dizzy. It's a pretty shroomy experience, if you know what I mean. I'm really curious how it's going to evolve in the future. Another experiment in this space I found was warping. Oh my God. There is this notebook called Stable Warp Fusion developed by DevDev to create smooth videos using Stable Diffusion with a warping effect. Just look at this. What's going on here? Again, very trippy experience. One cool application of that I found was from Rad Dreams who created a video called Longboard Dreams using Stable Diffusion and Warp Fusion. I think it looks super, super cool. I cannot wait to start experimenting with it and create videos like this for myself. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Number five, 
Stable diffusion in painting on a video. What? Okay, so this looks like something taken from a very surrealist dream. The effect is mind-blowing. So Justin Alvi and Karen Chang experimented on using stable diffusion in painting on one of the videos, switching from contemporary phone to a very ancient phone. Stable diffusion in painting is a version of a latent text-to-image diffusion model, which is capable of generating photorealistic images given any text input with the extra capability of in-painting the pictures by using a mask. Number four, stable diffusion plus real-time immersive latent space in VR. What? <laughs> So, Scotty Fox is exploring Stable Diffusion's ability to generate real-time immersive latent space in VR using Touch Designer. Touch Designer is a visual programming language for real-time multimedia content. So, it turns out that we are now able to explore the AI-generated virtual worlds with Stable Diffusion constantly adapting what we are seeing in VR. Think about it in terms of the type of gaming experience it will allow for, or how much the existing VR applications will be enhanced by being able to be dynamically changed, personalized, contextualized to what you actually want to see, what you're supposed to see in a given time. Very mind-blowing. Scotty Fox is using the, the forum notebook that I have mentioned before and I'm linking down below, so check it out. And Drum rolls, we are approaching our top three. Get ready, because it's going to get crazy. Number three, stable diffusion and AI assistant designer. Okay, so this one is still a little bit shaky, but is in the proof of concept stage. And I can well imagine a creative assistant like that interacting with me on a daily basis to create creative assets. Create creative creations, creatively. Progen created a proof of concept of AI designer using Unreal Engine's MetaHuman, Creator, Stable Diffusion, OpenAI's Whisper, and GPT-3. First of all, big plus for stitching all of these amazing models and technologies together. I love when people explore the combinations of these amazing models we now have at our hands and put them together to create something awesome. So Progen can have now simple conversations with his AI assistant and give her instructions for image ideas. She is confirming the instructions and either goes and creates the design he wants or asks more questions to clarify, to make sure that she is on track of what he is trying to create. Progen's answers are integrated into the outcome in the form of the generated image. I love it and I'm gonna use it if it's going to be available. Hopefully soon. Number two, stable diffusion plus AR, namely web AR and gravity sketch. So, Stage and Spanhoff experiments with stable diffusion and web AR. Look at this super cute kitten. Like, who wouldn't want to play with an app like this? Imagine all the Pokemon's kittens, kawaii things that you could generate and just like put it out there into the reality to make it a little bit more cute. Another cool experiment I've seen is by those six faces who strikes again and gives us a stable diffusion running life with MetaQuest Pro in Gravity Sketch. I mean, this looks insane. This makes me want to get the Gravity Sketch and start to sketch immediately. WebAR is a web application programming interface that supports AR and VR devices in web browser and Gravity Sketch is a 3D design platform. So go check these frameworks out and start to experiment with them because they're pretty dope. And finally, number one, Stable Diffusion and MetaSpark. Animating physical space, morphing physical features using Stable and MetaSpark. I can't get you excited about this enough. I think the way we play with things, create art, create games, it's going to change so much thanks to this. Metaspark is a playground for AR creators. Sergey Galkin plays with stable diffusion and AR in this lovely way. He is using target tracker in Spark AR, stable diffusion for generating images and frame interpolation for making animation. 
and my very very favorite experiment is by Denis Rossiev. He's using technique called Dane, which is deep aware video frame interpolation, and it does the morphing. I really feel like with more and more AR applications in real life and stable diffusion as one of the tech stacks that you're able to use to make these cool exciting air experiments we are going to see just like an explosion of beautiful art and beautiful other applications of animating the physical space so yeah number one today let me know in the comments if you like the list if there is anything else that should be highlighted that i haven't mentioned i love to explore this space and there is definitely more to it than you saw here remember to subscribe love you see you next time bye